AI will help you do this. AI will destroy the world. AI is on the news a lot. But what is AI? Hi, my name is Marsha, I'm the Coding Blonde, and welcome to my Blonde Dictionary, where I explain computer terminology using, as I call them, blonde examples. Let's talk about AI, which stands for Artificial Intelligence. Scientists have been trying to recreate the way humans think and solve problems for a very long time, and artificial intelligence or AI is the result of that. These machines electronically mimic the way humans think, which means that they can learn and solve problems. Computer science calls these machines intelligent agents, so devices that perceive their environment and try to reach and maximize their goals. Does that sound familiar? For example, when vacuuming your flat, your goal is to get dirt off the ground and you also adapt to your surroundings. For example, is there a wall? Or do you need to go under a chair or a table for that matter? And to use that example, there are smart vacuum cleaners right now, for example, Roomba, that use AI. And these little things have developed so much that now they can scan the room, identify where furniture is, so obstacles for them, and they also test and remember which cleaning routes are most optimal ones, which is a similar process to how a human would approach this task, except for AI tends to be more rational while humans, or at least me, tend to be more irrational. Um, I have my favorite corners in different rooms and I prefer to start hoovering with them, just because. And as technology evolves, the notion of AI evolves with it, because previous discoveries become normal and expected. Computers being able to calculate stuff? Computers playing chess? Boring. So 2016. Currently, AI is considered to be things like self-driving cars, speech recognition, complex data analysis, environment simulations, and so on. And if this all sounds very distant to you, don't you worry, my friend, you interact with AI-enhanced software every single day. For example, when scrolling your newsfeed on Facebook, the platform watches your behavior and what you like and what you don't like, and then it suggests you content that you find more pleasant. And for example, right now, you're watching this video on YouTube, so what about these suggested videos out there? Do you think that's a coincidence? Or did the algorithm find what you like? Or for example, when using Google Maps or Waze or other map applications, the system receives data from the satellite, from other users, and basically collects it all and considers it when calculating your path to find the right path for you so that it doesn't take as long, so that the traffic is not that bad, so you want to come back and continue using the services. And the Snapchat filters. Facial recognition means that AI moves the filter according to your facial movements, so that those cute ears don't end up levitating without a purpose. However, just like with any technology, there's a risk that people will use it with bad intentions. And there are a lot of people, especially Elon Musk, who say that AI will be the end of the world and the end of humanity. The argument here is that robots don't have empathy and they will do whatever they're programmed to do. So if somebody programs them to do damage to someone or to something, they will. And they won't think twice before, let's say, killing someone. And that is horrible and very, very scary. And I'm sure in a few years we'll see a lot of new regulations when it comes to AI. Have you heard of these debates on whether AI is good, bad, or if it's going to end the world? What do you think about it? Is it a good thing or are robots going to take over the world? Please let me know in the comments. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you understand the concept much better. Please let me know if you have any suggestions, ideas, comments for Blonde Dictionary or my channel in general. Please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear your opinion. Bye. I just want to show you how that tree works. <laughs> so I didn't have any batteries and there's this button that you can press so that it works. So I um, kind of created my machine where it presses itself. This cute little tree is working from that thing while the battery pack is empty. <laughs> Hashtag Russian girl in the US. <laughs>